Hello guys, most of my videos have been pretty short, mostly covering really bad Nintendo Direct and Smash Bros leaks. So of course, I'm going to get a much longer video. I was going to do the top 20 franchises I love the most, but before we do that one, I'm going to go over 5 franchises that I liked, but then fell out of. So these are 5 franchises that basically, game franchises, movies, series that I don't, I'm not really a fan of anymore, and yep. The first one is some, it's a franchise that I grew up with, Pokemon. The franchise that I got made fun of for liking, I don't like Pokemon that much anymore. And that is due to the newest game, Sword and Sealed. Yes, you still have all these Poketubers saying, oh my god, Sword and Sealed is so amazing. It's just, you know, you're just so you're stupid, okay? You don't like Pokemon, Sword and Sealed? You're entitled. And yeah, basically, I kind of got bullied out of the fandom for not liking Pokemon, Sword and Sealed. So, yep, I have lost interest in Pokemon, okay? I think that Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC is stupid. I don't. I, I think that the game should be complete instead of you know offering instead of removing Pokemon and just offering them for DLC. Okay, I always said that was a viable option, but this is the screed intent that you know Game Freak is. If then Game Game Freak is gonna go down the path of EA and you know offer Pokemon, I won't be surprised if Pokemon Gen Nine they have like 300 Pokemon and yeah and yeah, and the rest of the Pokemon you have to buy for mo money. We won't be surprised that's the thing and. Let's start with the, the downfall of Pokemon for me. It really started with this game called Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go really brought back the Pokemon into, you know, excuse me, into the extreme mainstream. Into the extreme mainstream. But when I watched the trailer for Pokemon Go, I was expecting it to be like that trailer where you caught Pokemon, you fought Pokemon, and we, the real world, you could go, and it was the open world Pokemon game we have been all we've been asking for. But Pokemon Go. The Pokemon was based off whatever the hell what the fuck CP was, okay? And yeah, you had CP, which why do we need CP? Why can't we have what we in a normal Pokemon game? Oh, we can have Zims now, but the but the Pokemon are based off CP. You only had like one attack for Pokemon. It isn't a true Pokemon game in my eyes. It's just a garbage mobile game that is designed to get, take money out of your account. And then we have Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon... Well, disappointments. I thought these games were disappointing, and I, I was like, Sun Moon wasn't isn't that great. Of course, the game got good reviews, but I thought these games were disappointing. There was a lack of new Pokemon, you know. There was all the Pokemon in the game at least, but it was a lack of new Pokemon, you know. A lot of new Pokemon are actually pretty decent, but I just fight the lack of new Pokemon that's disappointing. And yeah, I, I, the only thing that saved this game for me was kind of, you know, they changed the gym thing around. And then we have Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, the games that I was hoping would kill the Pokemon franchise. It's, you know, and it was also on Ultra Moon that also came out, but that's just the same stuff that Game Freak always does. You know, pay for enhanced versions of the game. But guess what? This game was, below, was still defended by all the Poketubers. I was the only one who said this game was going to be awful, or, and it brought back the Gen 1ers, and yeah, that game really ruined Pokemon. And then we have Sword and Sealed, the mess that is Sword and Sealed, and yeah, I just don't understand why people think this game is so amazing, okay? You know, it does have the lowest Google rating of any Pokemon game, 83% of any mainstream game, but these games, the new Pokemon sucked, the story sucked, it's the same generic garbage, the new, the gen, they brought back the same old, oh, beat 8 gyms, beat Pokemon, Mon League. They bought in stupid stuff like those exclusive gyms. Like really, you have to. And if you want to pay the full experience, you have to pay hundred twenty dollars for two crappy games. And then, and then the graphics, so that's not good. And and if you look at the other Switch games, the graphics have amazing. But then you have Pokemon Sword and Shield with these abysmal PS2 esque graphics. I know this is an anime game. I know this is not supposed to have the most detailed games. And a lot of anime. But then you have like robots and PS3 games like Hyper Defense and Neptunia having the same graphics as Sword and Shield. And that's like a PS3 game and that has better and it has actually better looking trees than Pokemon Sword and Shield. Pokemon Sword and Shield is just a mess. I I'm I even made a video called I left the Pokemon community and I'm never coming back until Game Freak fixes Pokemon. But the Game Freak, they they they're, they're like EA, they don't care, they just want your money. And it's and they expect and all the Poketubers will probably defend Pokemon until the end of time. Not me, I left the Pokemon fan base. Number two, you'll be surprised, is Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, I loved watching it, but when I go over, you know, when I play games I can put your own characters in, I don't put Game of Thrones characters in my games. Uh, I just, yeah, there's more, yeah, Game of Thrones, especially because of Season 8. I, I, don't, I didn't really hate Season 8 that much, but Season 8 was still a disappointing 
still disappointing. Season 8 kind of like ruined Game of Thrones. I had the first three episodes, but then the last two episodes are like, why? Why, why do we have to have, Why? You know, why? You know, of course, I know so movies and souls don't have to have happy endings. I know it's not Disney World, but the ending was just a letdown. I think everybody was expecting, you know, and then there's something that's happened and all, you know, it's just everything that's fell apart. Like, they didn't know, they didn't know what was, you know, really happening. And yeah, I think the real reason why Game of Thrones was disappointing because Jon Snow didn't have to get the phone. So yeah, we all were disappointed that that, hap- that, that didn't happen. I hope they we make Game of Thrones and make it way you no know, Game of Thrones season eight at very least and make it way better. The first three episodes were pretty great, but then everything afterwards are just garbage. Okay, Game of Thrones season eight episode four, eh, it was meh, and then five and six are like garbage. It's just not good. Okay, Game of Thrones season and yeah, I really just watch I just watch them and that's it. <laughs> I'll probably watch them again in the future if I you know watch the whole series. You have to watch the last two episodes, even though. The not that great, yeah. I would just have to suffer through the last two episodes, you know. They're not that great, they're, they're not good, you know. But again, yeah, that's not a big fan of Game of Thrones because of season eight. Season eight, you know, when you when you ruined Game of Thrones in season eight, okay, you ruined it, okay. It's the yeah, you ruined Game of Thrones in season eight, so yeah, that's the reason why I kind of I've watched interest. I don't really like years later, a lot of people do still talk about Game of Thrones, but I don't really do, you know. I talk about the stuff I. I still still watch stuff I talk about when I play games when I put games I have ability to put characters in games. I don't think oh yeah, Game of Phones. No, I even like, you know even Game of Phones was even Ready Player One. That's the that's the funny thing. It was even Ready Player One. And yeah, I think Ready Player One predicted that nobody would remember Game of Phones by twenty forty five because of season eight. Because of how awful the last two episodes were, you know. And next game, this will piss off a lot of people, is Team Fortress Two, okay? I used to be a fan until this game called Overwatch came out. And yep, that's gonna piss off a lot of people. Yep, I made it. I made it in the top unpopular opinions video. And yep, Team Fortress Two. I have watched interest in this game. I, the only good thing about Team Fortress Two is you can play the game for free. Basically, it's free to play game. But yep, Team Fortress Two has like nine characters, and all of them are pretty interesting characters. That are pretty interesting, funny characters. But again, ever since Overwatch has come out, hey, you know. I, you know, I still play Halo sometimes, but I never, ever play TF2 anymore. Never play it. I played it a few times on YouTube, and that's it. Because someone told me that I should play TF2 on the computer. And I still didn't really... You know, I played it a lot. I played the 360 version a decent amount. Like, a few hours. You no, know, like, ten... You know, like, three or four hours of that version. And, yeah. I, and then you look at how many times I've... Uh, hours I have on TF2 on the 360 and PC combined. Like, compared to the amount of hours... I have an Overwatch. Even on Halo, even on Halo, I have more hours than all those games. Probably combined in any of the, of any of Halo games. Halo Three, Halo, 4, even Halo Four, even that one. I have probably have more hours playing Halo Four than playing Team Forces Two. And yeah, people are like, hey, you just don't appreciate Team Forces Two. Maybe I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't really, you know, care for TF Two that much. I like Halo and Overwatch way more than TF Two. And yeah, I don't understand why it's a wrong opinion to not like. They're not really careful game. I still I don't I don't think TF2 is a bad game. I just don't really care for. It. I just really don't care for this game. And yeah, next is another series that I have. It's just died, and that is FNAF. Yep, this cancer fest of a game. I actually used to like this cancer fest of a game. I don't know why. Probably because it was popular. But I just realized after FNAF, all popular things suck. Okay. They just all suck, you know, the FNAF is the example of that, okay? And also people just bored me for saying that, for posting FNAF animations on Vine, even though I was just posting them for views, you know. But yeah, FNAF, now I hate FNAF. I hate this entire franchise. This franchise can go burn in hell, okay? FNAF is just bad. There's nothing good about FNAF, okay? You know, it's why I'm on my least favorite video game franchises now. I asked, I'm just shocked I used to like this garbage of a franchise all i do is like why would i like this garbage fnaf has awful and ugly characters borrow some of the ugliest character designs in the history okay i know the game is meant to be creepy but the game isn't that scary okay it's like the Brad Witch Project. It isn't really that scary, okay? FNAF isn't really that scary, okay? And of course there's people making the fnaf characters look cute and stuff but no fnaf is just garbage it's just 
not fun. It's just a, it's just a rating simulator. That's what it really is. It's just not a good thing. FNAF is just garbage. It's just terrible. It is just not a good thing. You know, FNAF is just garbage. That's all I have to really say about FNAF. And yeah, FNAF... <laughs> we all know FNAF is garbage, okay? And yep, that's what we all have to tell you. It's, it's just it's that easy. If you like FNAF, you, you, I don't know what you're doing anyway. FNAF is just not good, okay? It's just not good, okay? You know, most 99% of people moved on and realized that FNAF is garbage. The 1% of people who still play FNAF to this day every day, what are you doing anyway? Just play something else, okay? Play a real video game in this world. And yep, that's FNAF. I hate FNAF now. I used to like it, but I do not like FNAF. <coughs> It's actually the first example of a franchise that I used to like, but now absolutely hate. This is a franchise that I used to, you know, like, but absolutely hate. And yep, number five. And coming at number five is Illumination movies. Yep, these movies. <coughs> the only Illumination movies that I still find decent is Sing, Pets, and Despicable Me 1 and 2. The rest of the movies are... Bad. Okay, let's go over the movies. Minions, bad. It's funny, but it's it's so bad it's funny. Okay, it's it's meant for the world's common denominator. I still don't like it. I think Minions as a whole ruined the animation movie industry. Hop, not good. Nobody nobody will remember his Hop. The Grinch. Yep, this is what really ruminate. That ruminating is just an you know the Grinch is the reason why people hate ruminating. This is what you know. Grinch is you know. It's a very safe, predictable movie, okay? That's what the Grinch is. Same thing with Minions. Same thing with Despicable Me 3. Okay, same thing with Pets 2. It's all the same stuff. And I'm just, uh, I'm just don't understand why Nintendo is well in these people to make a, make a Mario movie. You have, you know, you have, you could have went to like Disney or any other company. But no, no, Illumination, okay? Me and the Rise of Gru will probably suck. I'll probably be forced to watch it because some other people will probably say, Oh my God, Illumination, Minions are so cute. No, they're annoying. They like the rabbits. They they're annoying. They they make me want to hit myself in the face. They're funny in the first two movies, but Minions and Onward and Despicable Me Free, yeah, it's, 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 they're just annoying. Okay, Despicable Me Free, they're annoying. Minions, they're annoying. And I want to get all to the other movies. The Grinch, not good. Okay, Pets Two, haven't seen. Probably won't be good at all. Pyro will be bad. You know, won't be surprised. And that's probably why the movie flopped. Because, uh, guess what? Illumination movies are all the same thing. Okay? They're all the same thing. Okay? They're like Fast and the Furious. Like, all over again. Okay? They are the same thing over and over and over again. And you can just look at these scores. You can see that the movies have just gone downhill. 58%, 59%, and 59%. You can see that the movies have gone downhill. Okay? They're still pulling millions of people to go see these movies. The same movies over and over and over again but yeah ever since you know minions you know the you know they have the series the rumination movies have seriously just gone downhill to the lowest kind of denominator single ever pets is still funny but i and it's really just pixar fans who really unfairly hate the movie for being a ripoff of toy story even though the box paper has a similar plot to to single life of pets and toy story and you know, and of course, Sing Sing was a it was okay. It wasn't that amazing. It was okay, but I don't hate Sing. But basically, me free is forgettable. The Grinch is not not good. I saw like ten to fifteen minutes of that movie. Like, ugh, why would I watch this movie's terrible? Okay, and Pets too. I watched parts of that, and I was like, no, don't want to see it. You know, even people I know are saying, yeah, maybe this company, this entire company's movies. Are going down even they're even going downhill faster than Pixar is, okay? Which Pixar is another company that's going downhill as well. And really the entire really ever since Minions, the entire animation, you know, Spectre has been going downhill to the lowest common denominator, selling the same selling the same five jokes over and over and over again. Now nah, that get boring really fast, okay? You know, Cow's Free is the same stuff, like, you know, oh, same five jokes are not funny anymore, okay? Same five, you know, fart and poop jokes are not funny, okay? They're not funny, okay? I won't be surprised if some of the movies that I quote-unquote like, if I rewatch them again, I'll probably hear them just as much as Minions, because it's not funny. Minions is not funny. It's 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 not funny. And it's, yeah, if you really want to watch a good animated movie, just watch, you know, Isle of Dogs, or Spider-Man, Spider-Force, Hollow Trade, Dragon Free. I'm talking about very recent animated movies instead of The Grinch, okay? Instead of The Grinch, you know, 
instead of, you know, Despicable Me 4, which they're gonna make because they just want money from the Minions crowd. And yeah, they, uh, you know, kind of what they ruined, they just ruined the animation industry as a whole. I wouldn't be surprised if Minions or Isaac Goo makes a billion dollars, and Despicable Me 4 makes a million dollars, billion dollars. Even though Illumination movies are all the same thing, okay? They're all the same thing. It's the same five jokes in every movie. And they still manage to get millions of people to go see their movies, okay? To go see their movies. And the fact that they're making a Mario movie makes me just want to jump off and realize that may, and get, escape from Illumination forever, okay? Forever, okay? You know... And yeah, they ruined animated movies. But I think for everybody, okay? Them animated movies are not really, you know, I get every animated movie is now a comedy because of Despicable Me, Minions, and all that stuff. Because they realize that's a formula that works. And I think that's going to be a downfall of animated movies. And yeah, Illumination, I think, is the reason why animated movies are going on a downhill trend and a downhill spiral. And I don't think anyone's going to remember. And I don't really think any kid that's going to, oh yeah, I really remember. You know, Despicable Me 8. Oh, yeah, such an amazing movie. It said no one ever. And, yep, that's basically it. I made went over five series that I used to be a fan of, but no longer is. The last two, you know, I yeah, I hate now, okay? Pokemon, I still like all of the older games. I still liked watching Game of Thrones. I still liked playing TF2. But the last two, FNAF and Illumination movies, they just... Yes, uh, maybe I, I probably have to rewatch all of them. Let's realize how bad all of the movies are, because all Ruminates movies are basically the same exact thing, anyways. They're like the Fast and Furious movies, essentially. And yep, that's basically it. Goodbye.